So right now I've got everything going in and out of the garage. So I've added some casters to my to my uh, Gardner Denver air compressor. I've got a little bit of an oil leak coming out of the head here. I don't think it's a a big issue. Probably I don't know. I'm looking more at it these days. So, um, but anyway, this has been working good. And then here's the the media blaster, the back of the media blaster. I have welded some some wheels on it, some polyethylene casters. So I can roll this thing around and sort of hard to get the whole thing in the shot. But that's a that's my blasted all cabinet. So I'm gonna put my little cube camera in here and get some footage and do a little bit of media blasting. So let's get started with that. Alright, welcome back to the shop. Been busy with moving and you know cleaning up some other stuff. I really haven't had much time to tinker around in the shop, but I did manage to get some uh get some stuff done in terms of getting the air compressor and the media blaster going again uh, thanks to some help from my little brother so we, we've also been tinkering around or I've been sort of tinkering around while he's worked on some bigger projects but anyway I've got a little bit of time today to, to mess around in the shop and I'm gonna get some footage of the media blaster today and what I want to do is, is sort of do a compare and contrast between uh, how the how, how what a tool looks like now and then what it looks like coming right out of the media blaster and so we'll get some time lapse of that real quick, or it might not even be time lapse, it might be real time footage depending on how long it takes, and then uh, we'll bring it back. So there was some footage of the media blaster, and hopefully this, this this is not a great camera, but hopefully it can pick up the the way that that's sort of fascinated the surface. It's it's quite rough, and, and perhaps we can can fear the you know there's a it doesn't really do it justice, but but it's sort of got a textured sandpaperish type surface, and in order to to get rid of that, we'll bring that over to the wire brush. So. So there we are. There's the the before and after. These these are the two clamps that were the most similar in, in style and brand. They just have some slight differences in terms of the the casting, the way it's minted, stamped, or forged, or whatever they call it. But the same thread styles and that Acme thread. Really nice clamps. These are these are great. And to give you an idea, I think with the media blasting and the wire wheel. This is probably less than five minutes worth of work. Maybe, maybe eight minutes. I should have timed it, but but it really is fast. The media blaster gives you an advantage to get into all these nooks and crannies, and the wire wheel does a great job, you know, bringing that finish back to a, a decent, a decent look. And it's possible to come back in and try to polish this all out if you had such the inclination. But I don't. This is a working clamp. I, what I'm going to do with this one is uh, use some of this frog lube. This is very expensive stuff. My buddy Rusty Gunn had mentioned it and said this is just outstanding. It's usually used for firearms. But uh, but I'm going to go ahead and coat that with this. And and the only other thing that I've actually done with it is, is this pry bar that I worked on the other day. I put the frog lube on it and it seems to be working pretty well. So uh, th there's any number of things. I think some butcher's paste or clear paste wax would work fine also. But you know this is sort of an experiment. So. That was just a quick one. It's fun to be back out here in the shop again. So I uh, look forward to making some more content. And as always, I look forward to your comments. Thanks. Have a good night.